Hello and welcome back to the video darkroom. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the files that you will find on the micro SD card from your DJI drone. I'll be illustrating this with a DJI Mini Pro 4 but it applies to many other DJI drone types. If you've been shooting video you'll find on that micro SD card there are some other files as well as the mp4 files that you expect to find. You will find also that there are LRF files and I'll be doing a subsequent video talking about what the LRF files are and what you can do with them what use they are to you and as soon as that video is done and uploaded to YouTube I will link it up here and I'll also put it in the description. But for this video we're going to be talking about the SRT files that you will find in that directory. SRT stands for Subrip Subtitle. It's a strange kind of acronym. It's got a history behind it in that it comes from a well-known app in the past called Subrip and it was uh, used largely in the days of DVDs but for now it's become a pretty universal standard and SRT files are supported by YouTube, by Vimeo, they're supported by editors like Premiere and like DaVinci Resolve, they're supported by video playing apps and uh, social media uh, platforms so you'll see that SRT files um, can be pretty useful. But what are they? Well, they're normally used to create subtitles like closed caption subtitles that you'll see if you want to listen to something without the audio playing and you just want to be able to read what is being said. In the case of the DJI files, the subtitles have kind of been taken over to contain information about the position of the drone, the speed of the drone, all that kind of information. I'm going to go through with you what is contained in it. If you just open a file and you have within that same folder a file with the same name but with the extension SRT, many video playing applications will automatically assume that you want to display those subtitles. Let's take a look at that. So here you can see as the video is playing that the subtitles are containing the information on where the drone is, how the drone is moving, information also on the camera, what your shutter speed is, what your F number is, what your exposure value is, all of those kinds of things which is really useful and there's one being recorded for every frame. You can switch the recording of subtitles on or off in your controller by clicking on the three dots, going into the camera settings and near the top you'll find video subtitles which you can switch on or off as you wish. So let's take a quick run through what is in these SRT files and what you can make use of that you'll find on the SD card from your drone. So first of all we have the frame count which just increments up starting at 1. And then we have the timestamp differential which is the time from the previous frame which gives you the frame rate. You have the date and the time of that particular frame. And you have the ISO that the camera was set to for that particular frame. You have also the camera shutter speed. And you have the aperture which was f1.7 in this case. Next we have the exposure value which um, can be plus or minus any number of stops. And you have the colour mode that the camera is set to. In the case of the Mini 4 Pro, that could be normal, HLG or D-Log M. Could be different for other drones, of course. We have the focal length of the lens in use at the time. And we also have the latitude and longitude, giving the position of the drone. We have the relative altitude, which is, I guess, the altitude from ground level. And we also have the absolute altitude as best the drone can calculate it. And finally, we have the color temperature setting of the camera. And as I said before, the specific items may differ from one drone to another. This is what you get with the Mini 4 Pro. 
And finally, if you want to change the size at which the information is displayed, do a global search and replace on the font size parameter and make that just whatever you would want it to be. So let's have a quick look at what we can do with these subtitles in Premiere Pro. So I have here some drone footage from my DJI Mini 4 Pro and I've, I have a clip in the sequence here um, that you can see. And I'm just going to add the subtitle file into that. I have imported all the subtitle files along with the MP4s um, into the, the folder in Premiere. I've done that already. Let's just look for the subtitle file for this particular clip. I'll just right click on it and say reveal in project. That shows me where that clip is and I look for the subtitle file that has the same name. So I can simply drag that onto the timeline in order to create a subtitle track. I can choose uh, a number of settings for this uh, but, and a style for it as well if you have some styles already set up. But in this case I don't have so we're just simply going to click OK. Now the subtitle files have uh, a subtitle frame for every individual frame of the video so it does take a little bit of time to uh, to add them in on, on occasions but if I now play this you can see that the uh, subtitles are moving in line with the video so you can change the style of these as you need to you can also, when you export the video, you can export them again as a, a subtitle file for that video. You may have edited it, and so the original subtitle files are not going to be applicable, but the, the new ones will be generated by Premiere. Or alternatively, you can burn them into the video as you create it. My recommendation is that you keep the subtitle files for all of your videos because they contain useful information. You may want to add them into your video at a later date, but you may also want to find out information about just how your camera was set up, where your drone was located, and how you flew that particular flight. They take up such a small amount of space, I think it's not a big overhead, and it's well worth keeping them. So if you've learned something from this video, please give it a like. And uh, if you like these kind of videos, then please subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.